Alright, so we're waiting for Paul Chalimo. He's our special invited guest today. And for the people that don't know, everybody should know, but who doesn't know, he's a two time Olympian. He was second and third in the 5K at the Olympics. Uh, probably one of the fastest track athletes in the world right now. Um, we're gonna do a fast track workout, and we're all very scared that we might die today. But if we die, we die doing what we love. So uh, we're gonna do a couple 1200s, some 1Ks, 400s. It's gonna be tough, but it's, and it's gonna be fast, but it should be good. So we're in this beautiful place, ready to run. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. Gonna be hard. It's fast. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna be hot today. So that is our guest honor of today. I can feel that I'm right. Yes. So here it is, a workout with Paul Chilimo. Um, me and Paul, we know each other mostly through social media and we've been talking back and forth about creating content together and it finally happened. So when I was in Kenya, I reached out and I said, hey Paul, I'm finally in Kenya. I know you're here too. I wanna get a workout together and create some content and just get a good workout in. And he said, let's do it. It's another day, it's another week. We're out here, it's a beautiful day. It's nice and sunny. About 60 degrees. The workout today is 1200 times 2, 1000 times 2, 800 times 2, 600 times 4, 400 times 4. And the goal is just to get the both endurance and speed and speed endurance all combined and it's gonna be fun. So you change your plane ticket again? Yeah, I keep moving it. <laughs> I keep changing it every time. So when are you going back now? Uh, next week, April 11th. Oh, okay. Yeah. So one more week. Yeah. How long have you been here? Man, since December. Oh, wow. Like four months? Well, that's nice because you skipped all the winter. I feel like you are a bit different than most runners I've run here in the Yeah. Everyone wants to start at 5.30. Yeah. Be done by 7.30. Sometimes it's about to recover. you saying that you give priority to rest and recover and then run when you're ready? I think people need to hear that because I feel like we get into the mentality of get it done. It doesn't matter if I'm ready or not. Yeah. And then you get in. And then the thing is, do what works best for you. you know? That's the thing. If it works for you, it's fine. If, if 4 a.m., 3 a.m. works for you, then do it. If 10 p.m. before you go to bed works for you, that's it, man. For me, early is good. Yeah. Just because I have a lot of things to do during the day, so I prefer yeah. get it done and then have my day to work. But I totally understand your perspective. Get it done when you're ready to do it. So for me, thanks to my sponsors, this is my job. So. Yeah. So, even if I go at 3 a.m. in the morning, what will I be doing the whole day? <laughs> Train again, and again, and again, and then get injured again, and again, and again. So, better sleep, be yeah. ready, yeah, I mean, and then get it done. It's gonna be a long, fast one. Wish I had spikes. <laughs> but it's good, I'm ready. Ready to die. The goal is just to click it down as we. Click, it, click the pace faster as we go down. So, so let's say we, uh, we're gonna start with the goal is to get 68s for the 68s for 1200 pull up. So if it doesn't get because of the dirt track, we we'll just adjust. Then uh, 1000s it's gonna be 66. Yeah, 60, 60. It's gonna be 67s. 1000 67s, 68 67s, and then 800, 866. And then 600s, uh, six, around 65s, and then 664, 65, and then boom, 400s. We we'll go to uh, we'll go to 60 or faster, 60 seconds or faster. So, yep. What about the recovery? Recovery 1200, two minutes in between. Yeah, 1200 recovery is three minutes. Three, two, two. Uh, 1k is is still uh, is is two minutes. Uh, 600s is one, uh, 90 seconds, one minute 30 seconds. 400s is one minute. So, yep. 
You don't know how many Ks? 10 kilometers. 10 K. And you are dead. Of course, <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> Having fun. Either I go hard or suffer or I die. All right. We decided to go to the Tambach track, which is a dirt track, uh, like 20 minutes outside of E10 and he sent me the workout and me and my pacers were supposed to give him company slash help him with his workout. I understand who I am and who Paul Chalimo is and of course he is way faster than me so I knew his workout was going to be a killer. So what I said was like okay how can I help him and at the same time have a good workout. Paul is an amazing guy, uh, we keep in touch, he lives in Colorado, just like me, but he lives in Colorado Springs, which is like an hour away from Boulder, and we are talking about creating more content together, we just need to get together and make it happen, but he's definitely a phenomenal athlete and an amazing person as well, a uh, family guy and a good Kenyan, so it's really good to have him as a friend and I'm excited to create more content in the near future and I'm also excited to see him run fast and see what else he can bring to the track and field world. As a coach, it's pretty cool to see the different running forms that all the athletes have. So you can see Paul's form is the most relaxed, the most comfortable, the most powerful of them all. I mean, the other Kenyans are doing great, but you can see that Paul is just definitely at a higher higher level. And then if you compare it with me, it's you know totally different. I'm 5'4", and he's probably you know 5'8", five, 5'9", five, maybe and that makes a difference and you, you know his stride is so powerful and I I swear I was running with him all out and I couldn't hear his breathing he was just so comfortable chilling the whole time and feeling strong and finishing strong at the end so there's some athletes that you can tell they are way above everyone else and I think Paul Chalim was one of them he's just so strong um, so committed and so you know, so good at what he does that that's why he's an Olympic medalist. I remember when he switched from flats to spikes I was like, oh my god, this workout is gonna get even faster. I was already like having a hard time doing it, keeping up, and then I saw him switching to spikes and I was like, this is it. But um, I was able to help him, which is what I was trying to do, so that was cool. But I would definitely thought that I wish I had my spike so I could run a little faster and feel more comfortable. Uh, but everything ended up being perfect today, so good work.
slow down when we get there. Uh -huh. Don't slow down. Okay. Okay. You slow down and I'll be on the stairs. Okay. Okay. Hey. Today it is the work we do hard work. Yeah, I've never do in my life. So we are done but we finish together and everybody feel well and feel strong. Wow. Yes. Very strong. That was a fast yeah. workout. How do you feel, wow. Sammy? I feel now better, but it was fantastic work. We did a lot. This is my first to run with a kite for 5,000 meters. Very fast. But me, I maintain mine behind him. But it was good. It was fantastic. I feel now fire. It was very hot. <laughs> Because I know you, you are, uh, you are, you are, that was crazy. Mm. Spanish, 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 man. Yes. Spanish. Spanish. But you say, you know what though? Yeah. Go hard and suffer the rest of your life. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 10k world workout. Yeah. With all that speed and <laughs> that. <laughs> so, I'll be having a bit. No shortcuts. That's the only way. I wish. I wish it was slow, but I got no time to slow down. Yeah. It was definitely too hard for me. I know my place in this world. So I knew I could help, and that's what I did. So when he was doing eight, I would help him in a six. When he was doing six, I would help him in a four. When he was doing four, I would help him in a 250. So he can have a good day, and I still had a great day too. So. Appreciate you, man. Yeah, it I was mean, fun. Thank you for letting me train with you. I mean, without you, that, without you and these guys, man, that workout would be, would be brutal, you know? <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to finish it, but having, having an extra company, man, all the models with the camera looking at us, yeah, it, it helps pushes us. This guy, drug boy candy, <laughs> that's what's up, you know. Oh, uh, you forget, I forgot to tell you my name, is, my other name is Drug Boy, leave alone candy. Drug boy. I, I used to play football with him, so that's why Drug Boy came. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and it's not American, it's not football, yeah, it's, it's soccer. soccer. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. American football, huh? American football is uh, you could be you used to play American yeah. football, yeah. you used to. You say football? Yeah. Is it American football? No, no, or no, soccer? it's soccer. <laughs> yeah. For American soccer, for the rest of the whole football. <laughs> so my nickname used to be Drogba. We used to call him Joe Cole. Before he switched to athletics, he used to be a really good footballer. Yeah, I missed him so much. <laughs> Yo, so the workout is done. Feels good. Thank you. With all that speed, it's crazy, but. Uh, we made it, and it wasn't possible with this, the Venezuelan king, <laughs> Hota Luis, you know? So, how do you feel the walk-up, man? It was tough. I mean, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. It was a dream come true for me, being here in Kenya, training with you, doing a tough session. When you send me the screenshot of what the workout was, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna die, but I'm happy to die, I'm happy to do it. And then when I realized that the workout was like way too tough for me, I was like, all right, I switched my mindset to, it's fine, I'm still feeling good, so before I die, I'm gonna switch to help you Definitely. and be able to like pace you so you have a good workout and I still get a really good workout. Yes. Cause I got in like 8K of work, 
So what we did was like, if you were doing eight, I was doing six. If you were doing six, I was doing four. If you were doing uh, four, I was doing 250. So I think that helped you and that helped me. And I was having a great time out there. I mean, always, always running, you know, it's like, you always have to work together. You know, they say two ways are better than one. And that really works in when it comes to working out and running together because even easy runs, having friends out there, just jogging together, it's easier. But being yourself by yourself, it's, it's tough, but uh, it's exciting, you know. I'm from Colorado Springs, Colorado. He's from Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, we're neighbors. We together met in Kenya. <laughs> He's from Venezuela originally. I'm from Kenya originally. Both, we live in the American dream. Yeah, and doing what we love, that is running being yeah. here helping each other and learning from you so thank you very much for letting me be here and yes. learn from you I have a lot to learn and I want to share this knowledge with other people so just yeah. being here yes. learning from experience like learning getting it done yeah. I'm not yeah. there with a stopwatch I'm there yeah. suffering I think that helps a lot yeah. so it's dream come true for me so thank you so much for letting me be here yeah so this is the tent I grew up here and this is my hometown and it's uh, beautiful if someone messes up with you <laughs> Got this. Right. Come through, man. Come through. <laughs> we got if security. someone messes up with you, if you someone messes up boy. with you, you get that big we boy. got this big boy right there. <laughs> Something very cool that happened today was that I was able to meet and talk to Brother Okom. He is one of the most famous coaches in Kenya. Very nice to meet you. Heard a lot of good things. It's an ah, honor yeah, and a we pleasure. We take care of little guys, yeah. they're smaller. Yeah. Yeah. They're smaller. We begin, uh, now we have a, young, a younger man, the That's, next generation. Okay, so Paul has to be careful. There's this new guys, on, new on, guys. His, on his heels. That's where I started from. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's good because you're molding them, they're really young kids and yeah. you, you try, there's a dropout rate, there's yeah. those who are, who are in for the long haul, yes. there are those who are prepared to go to yeah. the, the, the success and the failures. Correct. Yeah. So, that's awesome. So, so, you're training in Kenya, are you with Paul? I'm training here for a month, yeah. I brought some, like a camp of people that I coach to spend a week here and then I stay a month training and learning and just sharing and just here to learn and run fast and get better as a person and as an athlete. That's why it's an honor for me to I get know, to know I, you in person. I, I just hung around longer than anybody. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, but I think it's very important. I had a coach uh, when I started running when I was 13, 14, and he meant a lot for me. Uh -huh. So I know how important the job and the work you do is. So yeah, of course. That. It's just a motivator, just keeping them. But the, the work has to be done by the athlete. As you know, you know at the end of the day, yeah. coach is there, you facilitate, you, you, you encourage, yeah. you're there, you're, when they go up, you bring them down, when they're down, you bring them up. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, that's, that's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> they gotta go to the threshold. Sometimes yeah. you run a yeah. high when you win major competitions, yeah. or when you come to the Olympics, then you have to come and say, now get your feet back on the ground. <laughs> Come on, yeah. get Let's your get head to out of the clouds. Yeah. yeah, get down. Man. But then when you're down and you yeah. didn't do as well as maybe you expected of yourself, and maybe I was also your coach, of course, then you have to go up. Yeah, that's, what, that's about life. That's where life goes. Yeah. Definitely. You know, that's uh Irish legend, Brother Colm. Oh, Brother Colm. The famous Brother Colm is uh, David Rudisha's coach. Uh, August and Chogi. My best friend, Aaron Lagat. So he used to coach him too. So yeah, he's a very, very, very good coach. And I went to his camp. Ooh, how can I say? Like about, I was in his camp about 15 years ago. Oh wow. <laughs> like molding, like you see all those kids. <laughs> that was me. 15 years ago. That was awesome. And guess what? I was in his camp. Day one, I quit it. I left. Because <laughs> it was tough, man. It was not easy. See what they do. Yeah. They like young kids and see what they do. So I, yeah, that's that's great. So I I I just quitted the first day, man, because it was crazy. But then I, but then that's how you start, you know? Yeah. Yeah. While well, kids are playing video games, they're here working hard already. Yeah. Putting the mouth in. Yeah. So he's like pretty famous because he gets these kids finds talents and then gets them to the highest level. Yeah. So Rudisha, for example, is a world record holder in the 800. He got it since he was a kid and, you know, take him to the top. 
So that's why everybody knows him and everyone respects him here. He's an Irish priest, so brother. Yeah. And works with the famous school here, St. Patrick's, that's in Ten. Yeah, if you come to Ten, you have to check out. Nice. Hey! Very nice! <laughs> Italian is a beautiful place, love, love it here. Yeah. Everyone is super cool, everyone is down to work hard, and everyone is so, so welcoming, so so happy to be here. And before we leave, we say, go hard or suffer the rest of your life. <laughs> Boom! Thank you for watching another episode of Training in Kenya with Luis Orta. We hope you enjoyed this video. We made it with a lot of love and a lot of hard work. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you'll get a notification every time a new video is out. And don't forget to please like, share and comment. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. And remember more cool content is coming soon. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Man, that was crazy.